Only brought to you by Hang Hook Tyres, and it will be contested in the women's atom weight division over three three minute rounds. And introducing first, out of the red corner, we have Rachel McAndrew. And we're back for ninth fight of the evening. Our second girls fight. Adam Waite contest. Rachel McAndrew making her way to the Coastal Combat Cage fighting out of integrated MMA there on the Sunshine Coast. Grade 5 school teacher by trade. Yeah, I know uh, there's not many school kids here tonight, but there are some, uh, some fellow teachers that have come out to support her. <laughs> Her uh, coach is uh, Matt Cruz, who's actually had quite a few fights in the cage himself back in the day and has, has turned himself to uh, coaching. She's uh, also got Alex Dale in the cage, uh, in her corner, who's also had quite a bit of experience uh, in the cage herself, uh, and an undefeated record. Plenty of experience to support Rachel this evening. Very, very good grappling. Strong on the ground, active off her back, very good guard multiple submissions she can attempt if the fight gets there so likely at some stage we'll see Rachel try and shoot bring this one to the ground see if she can get a submission in her very first fight here at Coastal Combat yeah I've done quite a bit quite a bit of training with integrated sunny uh, sunshine coast especially because their head coach and owner Rob Graffita is one of my coaches and I've worked with, I've, I've seen Rachel develop from when she first came into the gym and now and she's uh, definitely improved in space. And she's very well-rounded. Now the blue corner. See, very athletic, Courtney, very absolutely. strong. You know she's coming in this fight fit and ready. Her opponent, Courtney Gray, making her way to the Coastal Combat Cage. Alvis Sinisek trained out of the King's Academy. Anton, I watched uh, Courtney warm up before with her partner, boyfriend, training partner, whoever it might have been. Absolutely destroying him in the cage she was. The striking was crisp. She was setting up her shot. She was dumping him to make the floor shake when he hit the ground. So if, uh, if this one does get to the ground where Rachel may have an advantage, I'm sure Courtney will be very happy to oblige. I am very excited to watch this fight go ahead. This is going to be a cracker, to be honest, there. Yeah, Got fight of the night written all over it again. Might just be here who can uh, impart their dominance earliest. That seems on paper they'll have quite similar styles, which can often make for very entertaining fights, but it's a person that can get in there first and, and dominate from that perspective that will no doubt have the advantage. And obviously a lot of... Uh experience with Alva Sinisek in your corner. Mm. You know, we'll definitely hopefully help her to keep calm and relaxed in the cage. No doubt. It looks like Courtney will um, will give up a little bit of height and reach here though, a game which, especially if he's going to look for that shoot, might make it difficult for her to shoot from out of range. can always eat a knee or an uppercut coming in, so she'll have to establish that range factor early on in this fight to determine how quickly she can then look for the shoot to get the guy to get the fight to the ground. So, ladies and gentlemen, fight number nine is brought to you by Hancock Tires, and it will be contested in the amateur women's atom weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. She weighed in at 47.8 kilos and trains out of integrated MMA. Tonight, she makes her MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rachel Meek Andrew. And her opponent fighting out of the blue corner. She weighed in at 47.8 kilos and trains out of King's Academy, holding an amateur MMA record of two wins for one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Courtney Gray. Courtney's got that little bit more cage experience than Rachel has. You know, this when is the first fight where this is Rachel's first, so we'll be Churchill. interested to see if that experience 
is uh, a little bit more uh, beneficial. She looks intense, Courtney too. She looks like she's ready to get in there and start scrapping. All right, so back into the women's side of the draw here tonight, gentlemen. Our second women's bout of the evening, this time down at the Adam White limit. So a couple of uh, smaller ladies here, but uh, that usually means that the technique's going to be on point, and already we can see that's the case. And look at the footwork and head movement by Courtney early as well, cutting angles perfectly. Nice tight guards from both girls. Something that we haven't seen much of uh, this evening. So, of course, uh, Courtney Gray training out of King's Ooh, Academy. Oh, lovely overhand right from Rachel. Out of King's Academy under the man himself, Elvis Sinisek, the king of rock and rumble. I believe he was the first Australian <laughs> fighter to enter the UFC. Correct. So, a, uh, a lot of knowledge and experience in her corner as this, she sticks the jab. And, of <laughs> Of course, Rachel McAndrew has the team from Integrated MMA Sunshine Coast calling the shots for her. Oh! oh kick. And the right hand to follow. Knees there too. Beautiful technical striking on display here from Courtney Gray. Let's see if Rachel McAndrew can weather the storm. This MMA debut has been a long time coming for Rachel. Don't let the fact that she hasn't fought yet uh, be an indication of her skill level. She has been training for many years with the team at Integrated MMA. That left high kick from Courtney. I reckon you watch out for that one as this fight rolls out. She snaps it out so quickly. Nice stiff jabs from Rachel. Every boxing stance, hasn't she? Of course, uh, Rachel McAndrew, a grade five school teacher during the week. Don't want to mess with her kids, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh lovely shot. Great right, oh, oh, finish. Beautiful finish. Straight over. So Rachel McAndrew, ungraded in jiu-jitsu, not uncommon for MMAs to uh, throw the gi MMA gym, sorry, to throw the geese away. Locks up both legs with triangle. Courtney Gray, a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, so let's see if she can put that to use here. Walking herself up the cage now. Doing a very good job of keeping that base leg ankle picked out, so she couldn't walk up the, uh, the cage. So one thing that always stands out with the integrated MMA fighters is their relentless pressure, whether it be the pressure striking or the pressure wrestling. We're seeing the latter of the two here on display by Rachel McAndrew. Great head position as well. Pinned her arm underneath. Or oh, punches are there. The Dagestani handcuff, I believe, as John Anik refers to it. <laughs> we'll see that in action at about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So 30 seconds to go here in the opening round. She's got a hand trapped underneath, but she's still trying to go for that core from the base. So getting a little bit of disconnection from the body here. So maybe a little bit tighter, but beautiful work there. Stapling that arm of uh, Courtney Gray there, Rachel McAndrew. That's excellent technique by Rachel. Defensive Jiu-Jitsu 101, very well done. So the 10 second clap are now gone. This one will see a second round. Pretty interesting opening round there. I think it was fair to say Courtney Gray getting the best of the exchanges on the feet, but Rachel McAndrew with that beautiful double leg. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I, I think um, Rachel set up that shot perfectly. It was nice and deep. Um, and I think she definitely has a strong advantage on the ground, so maybe we'd see a, a earlier shot in the second round. We anticipated pre-fight that Rachel would eventually shoot at some stage, did successfully and then controlled the action on the ground for a majority of that first round. So I don't think Rachel really needs to mix it up with the hands with Courtney. I think Courtney showed that she has a level of dominance from that perspective. So why risk it moving forward? Set the shot up, take her down, see if you can find that submission. And Rachel had some lovely control and pressure she once did. she got on top. She looks to be stronger, to be honest. In the exchanges so far, I think she has a strength advantage. So to try to use that to her advantage in round two, find that submission. We go round two. Good stiff jab again by Rachel and excellent angles again by Courtney. Oh, the front kick was there. So you touched on it earlier, Ant, on the footwork of these two ladies is uh, picture perfect as far as the technique is concerned. So short little right hand lands there for, from Courtney Gray. And there's a nice little bubble starting to form on Rachel's head. It might have been from one of the head clashes in the, in the first round, or maybe it was from that nice little uh, leg kick. Uh, sorry, head kick. 
So uh, a bit of a telegraphed attempt there for Rachel McAndrew, but gets things up against the cage. Let's see if she can finish some sort of takedown here. She just needs to get her hips in. Nice work Good heavy on the Good defense by Courtney, though. Good head pressure. Turns out. Oh, the right hand on the way out as well. Oh, caught the kick. There's a nice big lump starting to form under Rachel's uh, left eye. Might start to close by that second or third round. Oh, Jordan Drop a big yeah, double leg yeah, takedown double again. Leg. So beautiful work there from Rachel McAndrew implementing the game plan here with that takedown. Very interesting fight this one. A lot of damage done on the feet by Courtney Gray, but Rachel McAndrew with that suffocating res wrestling style. And straight away has locked up the legs. Make it very hard for her to get her base out to get back up to her feet. I'd like to see Rachel get her head on the other side. Maybe pull her, start to pull her down the side of the cage. There you go, on cue. She must have heard you, Anton. She's right in front of us. So uh, doing a great job there, Rachel McAndrew, Courtney Gray in a spot of bother here. One minute and ten seconds still to go in this one as well. So let's see uh, what Rachel can mount here as far as offense is concerned. I think we really need to see some damage from Rachel to try and... Uh, Limit the spring and uh, Courtney's step when she's yeah. back on the feet. And just also to validate the position that she has, she's in dominant control here but hasn't really landed anything. So nice work, keep escaping here from Courtney Gray, but tying up the legs once again, Rachel McKenna. Good shots, good little shots by Courtney though. There we go, there we go. Up. Double again, hands are clasped. And she'll dump her again. Oh, big takedown. Big slam there. Rachel McAndrew back into close guard. Courtney Gray did very well to get back to her feet, but it was short-lived. Third takedown of the fight so far for Rachel. Clearly dominating the exchanges as they get down to the ground. So 10 seconds to go. She's going to try and throw up the submission. Looking for that armbar or triangle. Hips not quite in the right position there, but uh, no real loss as we hear the who to go for the end of round two. So back and forth action here, boys. Like I mentioned earlier in the round, the damage done on the feet there by Courtney Gray, but Rachel McAndrew with uh, some pretty slick wrestling on display. And telling that the end of both rounds saw Courtney on her back, although the second round obviously had thrown up a submission, but as far as influencing the judges in what may be close rounds, having dominant ground position is always going to get a tick in the box. So... Could very well be uh, two rounds to zero here for Rachel, which means Courtney's got to throw caution to the wind in round three, try and find a way to win this one. So the corners are going to work, integrated MMA there for the lady in the red corner, Rachel McAndrew, Courtney Gray, with the team from King's Academy. Thomas Churchill, our referee now, calling seconds out and asking our coaches to exit the cage. Going to get things underway here in the third and final round. Very close fight up until this point. Difficult to call a winner. Both fighters with advantages uh, in their respective domains. But here we go, boys. Third round. You are right, Anton. Under the left eye of Rachel, there's some swelling, and that would be a target for Courtney, I think. There it oh, is. Big shot. So the right hook there off the backhand. Pretty rare punch to see in MMA, but we did... See a beautiful example of it there from Courtney Gray. A couple of leg kicks. Oh! Back to the head with the front kick. Got to get her distance now, though. Again, Rachel dropping her weight. I like Single to see leg. Her bring her hips in. Maybe start to try and lift her up off the ground. She's got the double now. Hands are clasped. And she's trapped her hand in at the same time. And gets a takedown. Number four for this fight. Maybe look to circle, take it back as she tries to get back up. Suffocating pressure on display here from Rachel McCandle. It can be so demoralizing for some of these fighters in Courtney Gray's position, just continually getting dumped onto the mat. Not a whole lot of damage being done here by Rachel, but uh, certainly the control time mounting up in the judges' eyes. Particularly when Courtney had so much success early in round three again in the striking exchanges. So she would have felt comfortable. And as he said, then now flatten her back again for the fourth time in this fight. Extremely frustrating, uh, that, that pressure. You know, every time you try and stand back up, you get dragged back mm. down. You know, it might make Courtney 
um, desperate and make a mistake that maybe Rachel can capitalise on the finish. One thing that I do love about these lighter weight classes as well, gentlemen, we touched on the technique, but also the conditioning. Yes. Both fighters look fresh as daisies right now as we're into the final, almost oh, the final. Oh, here we go. Grab the hand behind. Maybe some nice little knees would be Got taking it back. back. This is money, though, for Rachel right now. Again, just eating the time up here in round three. So doing a good job trapping that hand now. She's going to look to change levels here. 42 seconds on the clock. And, and hands, hands are class. Fifth take Beautiful. down. Minor cage grab there from Courtney Gray. Thomas Churchill had a quick look, but uh, no real think, damage suffered there from Rachel. I don't think it affected the takedown very often. <laughs> doing a very good job trying to isolate the leg, but Courtney's doing a very good job. Keep getting back up. So into the body lock now momentarily it was Rachel McAndrew. Oh, the knee! Sneaky little knee, but unfortunately, it looks like it's going to end her up back Double on the mat. Double six takedowns. Ten seconds to go in this one. Impressive. That, that's a dominant display of grappling by Rachel in this fight. Really, really impressive. Well, three rounds in the book. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards here for this one. Fun one there at atom weight between Courtney Gray and Rachel McAndrew. A tale of two styles there. Some nice work on the feet from Courtney Gray. But the real story of the fight was that heavy wrestling pressure Absolutely. on display by Rachel McAndrew. A little bit dejected for Courtney. I thought she actually looked really good on her feet in those exchanges. The front kick was used really, really well. Landed some good right hands at the same time, but just couldn't overcome that pressure that Rachel brought in every round. Resulted in six takedowns, and presumably on that basis, you'd think a, a decision victory in this one. Yeah. It's a good thing we don't uh, base on the uh, the damage that uh, someone takes yeah. all, the, all the way they look at the end of their fight. <laughs> it will be quite a nice shiner under the left eye of Rachel come tomorrow morning, no doubt. She'll know that she was in a fight here at Coastal Combat 6. And uh, the kids are going to have some very interesting <laughs> questions to ask on uh, come Monday around. Mrs. McAndrew, what did you do on the weekend? I just got locked in the cage with another young lady and we just punched <laughs> each other in the face repeatedly. But I want you all to sit down and do as you're told, all right? No <laughs> fighting, please. I don't think there'll be any arguments from the grade five students to which Rachel teaches. Judges calculating scores. You know when it takes a time, then it... Uh, oh, I can know. It's, it's, a bit a bit it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? It's a bit dangerous. It's going to be close. Not a judge, but it seemed pretty clear-cut for me, to be honest. But, yeah, the longer they take... The more chance they've seen something that we definitely didn't. Yeah, from from the commentary box, I'd have to say, you know, Shut Courtney up. Courtney did a good job in the first 10, 20, 30 seconds yep. of the round. But then, you know, Rachel just overworked, overpowered that yep. wrestling for the last two, two and a half minutes of each round. Like, you know, you, you've got to give it to, uh, to Rachel for the hard work that she put in. So, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge 1 scores the contest 29-28 to the blue corner. Judge 2 scores the contest 29-28 to the red corner. And Judge 3 scores the contest 30-27 for your winner by split decision in the red corner, Rachel McAndrew. Yeah, it definitely came down to that, uh, that wrestling. Yeah, and, uh, that, those control. takedowns. Yeah, and those takedowns. 29-28 blue corner though. That's that's an interesting result. I'd like to see. It'd be interesting to see which judge came up, which angle they were looking at. Maybe that affected it. Yeah. But um, or you know maybe they weighted the the strikes or the damage done the first part of the, yep. the round uh, more substantial than you know the back end of the round with the wrestling control and dominance from Rachel. But I, I think the uh, the the right fighter won. You know, we got the right result in the end, and uh, congratulations to Rachel for her first fight. Agreed. So I'm here with our winner from the last bout there, Rachel McAndrew. A very impressive performance. The wrestling in particular looked flawless. A lot of people might not realize this, but uh, because it is your MMA debut, but you've had a long journey in mixed martial arts. Talk about what it's been like to finally get to this point. Yeah, 
so I've been training for three years and nine months. So I feel like the fight camp was three years and nine months. Thanks, Max. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing though. I have an amazing team, amazing people in the audience. Thank you, Max, for all the coaching. Thank you for my training partners. Thank you, Rob, for all the coaching. Awesome. And of course, it was the grappling that got things done tonight. Some of the entries on the double legs in particular were uh, described as beautiful for us in the commentary booth. Coming into the fight tonight, did you know that was what you were looking to implement? Um, we've been working wrestling, but I've been trying to improve my striking as well. well. It all looks pretty sharp tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for your winner, Rachel McAndrew.